Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Storm Collectible Samurai Showdown 6. I didn't realize there was a number down there. Uh, Genjiro Kib Kibagami. I don't know this character at all. I'm gonna put that out there. I've never played Samurai Showdown. I think they have some of the coolest designs though. And this figure looks like one of Storm's best. So I really, really wanted to review it. You guys might have noticed I've been talking about Big Bad Toy Store more lately. I've been working with them for 10 years, but I'm really leaning for over 10 years. Um, I'm leaning into working with them more because I'd rather work with a retailer rather than the people making the toys who keep having demands and wanting to work with people for certain reasons as opposed to giving proper reviews. So I'm doing my best to kind of stay away from that. Not that I need to try very hard. They don't want to work with me, uh, the retail, the manufacturers. But the retailer, I've trusted Big Bad Toy Store for long before, since long before I was reviewing figures. And uh, I still do. They are by far the best online retailer for collectibles that I have come across. Bar none. And so I'm very happy to be working with them. They provided this. Uh, I get some review samples from them. A lot of the stuff I just get from them like anybody else. Uh, but this one is a review sample, so I have to put that out there. But yeah, I work with them for a reason. And um, they, are, they are still the best. So anyway, let me go ahead and get this guy off the stand and take a closer look. Alrighty, before we get into the figure review itself, I do want to show you my package. It's a bigger package, and it's very nicely done. Storm's great at packaging. I think this is one of their best. This very dynamic artwork on the front. I mean, it's really just mostly hair, but still, it looks good. But you get enough of a window there. I like it. On the side, you get more of that artwork. On this side, you get a shot of the figure. And on the back, you get some posing options and things like that. Good package all around. Storm's one of the best. I love it when they add opening at the top for light to come through for you inbox collectors. That helps for display. Now, like I said, this guy looked like possibly one of Storm's best figures. Uh, and, or at least the most interesting because these pants, we'll see. I purposely haven't done anything with the legs yet so you guys can see my full reaction. Uh, let's say not live, but in real time as we're doing the review. So this guy stands just about 18 and a half centimeters to the top of his head. That's going to make him roughly, now we'll call it seven and a quarter inches. That's probably about right. Uh, I will mention this. I have mentioned it in my other reviews lately. I'm using a new camera, so settings may still need some tweaking. We'll see how this looks, but uh, I think we've got it pretty much zeroed in. So anyway, if it's not perfect, uh, please forgive me. So let's dive into the aesthetic. I love the shape of his upper body. His abs are a little bit weird and flat right here, but it's hardly noticeable. And I really like the overall proportioning of his chest and arms for Storm. He doesn't seem quite as bulky as some of the other Storm figures do. And I thought his, face, his faces looked really good. And I'll show you the alternate faces here pretty soon, but I think they just nailed the look of this guy really, really well from what I've seen. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with the, with the franchise, but lots of shading throughout the body. Uh, it looks really nice. And then the hair is dynamic, but it, it's kept off of the figure for the most part, so that's good. And then just the crazy pants. I can't think of the name of these pants right now, but uh, if they pose well at all, this is going to be really cool. If they don't, he still might be really cool because Storm, I think, is leading, uh, leading the charge in terms of effect parts. And this guy's got some crazy effect parts. So lots to like in terms of the looks of this guy so far. I'm going to give the aesthetic a 9 out of 10. The abs are a little bit weird, but otherwise he looks good. There's shading throughout, or kind of like a dry brush throughout the pants, shading throughout the skin. The hair looks nice. Yeah, I like the way this guy looks a whole bunch. Now, as far as accessories go, they give you four of the hairs, but I might be going crazy, or they just gave us four of the exact same hair in case it breaks. I'm not sure, but it seems to me, like there's one on him already, and here's three more. It seems to me that they just gave you extras in case this part breaks, maybe? I don't know. I could be just going crazy, but they look to be the same to me. I, there's no different angles for the connections or wind sweeps or, sweeps or anything, so I don't know. Four hairs, all right, and then four different heads, which I guess you could just put them in the heads and leave them? I don't know. But as far as heads go, you get the neutral head that comes on them in the package, you get a smirky head, a uh, teeth gritted head, and then a yelling head. And I think they all look great. This guy's got some of the best looking parts out of everything I've reviewed from Storm. They're pretty darn good. As for hands, he has the two fist hands that come on him in the package, then a whole slew of other hands. Everything you could need, as far as I can tell. He has a really nicely done sword, like really well done. One of the best swords we've seen. I love that. He has what looks to be like a bowl, like a food bowl. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but you get that. And then, Let's look at these effect parts. Holy macaroni. This 
is just Storm is going crazy with the effect parts lately, and I love it. It's huge. Look how big it is compared to the figure. He's gonna be standing out on a shelf. Uh, I think, was it Terry? Yeah, Terry had some huge ones. A couple other people have. Um, Jury had some big ones. Anyway, Storm's just all about the effect parts, and I love it. I think what they say nowadays is, I'm here for it. I don't like current sayings, but uh, yeah, here's the one, the sword swoosh, and here's his other move. Uh, very heavy. Lots of plastic there, but really nicely shaded. And there's a little clear acrylic stand to peg into this thing to hold it up. But uh, yeah, big, cool, displayable, displayable effect parts. I love it. I love it. So accessory-wise, um, 10 out of 10. I don't know how you could have more accessories. You've got hands, heads, um, swords, effect parts, everything you could need. I can't think of much else. So yeah, that's awesome. I love what Storm's doing with the effect parts, guys. Why is that so hard for everyone else? It's weird. Storm's figures are huge compared to most other figures. They don't cost that much more. Hmm. I'm starting to think some companies just want to give you more for your money, guys. It's time to start thinking, I think, a little bit more uh, than we have been when it comes to buying collectibles. All right. It's going to come down to the articulation. Is this guy total garbage or is it going to be... I'm, I'm guessing it's not going to be great. If it's great, I'll be absolutely amazed with these pants. Maybe it is. Um, but let's see. Let's see. Okay, so let's start with the noggin like we always do. The hair does rotate around, like I said, so maybe that's why you have extras. I don't think you'll have any trouble with breakage as long as you hold it by the, by the white part. You should be fine. I can't see why you wouldn't be. But I'm going to pull that out for now so that we can... Look at the heads are going to be on a ball peg and then the necks on a ball peg down into the body and it works really well. They've I think they finally hit their uh, hit the sweet spot with that neck articulation. I love it. It's not the most perfect thing in the world because the heads still mostly only rotate on the top, although his actually seems Oh, they've done better. For the longest time it's mostly been just a, a small peg and then like a tube, a cylinder hole, cylindrical hole. So the heads kind of were on a ball peg but really not. His works a little bit more like a ball peg. It's still more more cylinder than ball socket but it's not bad so you're going to be able to move his head nicely. He looks bad without the hair piece but yeah that works well, I like that. Alright for the shoulders it's your standard storm shoulder. Nice and buttery so far, not too loose. But definitely not binding, so that's good. I like that. Move that all the way around. Bring in the arm up. Just better than horizontal without using the ball, and with the ball, better. So that's good. Uh, bicep swivel. Theirs are always tight because of the way they do their sculpts, but it works. Double jointed elbow. We are going to get better than 90. Not the best range in the world, but definitely good enough, I would say. I'll take that. I like it. Ball hinge wrists. That should be fine. All right, for the torso. This guy does look good. I might have to get more of the Samurai Showdown figures. This one looks nice. All right, so I'm a little bit concerned about how high, how high up his cut is. So let's see how that works. Leaning him back works well enough. He doesn't go super far back on that top joint, but it worked. Going forward, not super far again, but it worked. Oh, they did a good job, wow. Storm's had lots of problems with this sort of thing. Guile, I remember specifically, his back piece just pops right out from this piece up here when you lean him forward, but this one didn't, so that's good. Uh, side to side, it's in there, it's kind of tight, doesn't seem to go very far, but it's there, you can make it work. All right, and then down here, okay, so that's not the best looking thing. You definitely get some weird gapping. I think they could have rounded that out a little bit more, especially with how much material is here to hide that but you do technically get a bunch more range there, so that's not too bad. I'd be a little bit concerned about the red rubbing off on the white, but I'm pretty sure the red is just molded, so you might be okay. So yeah, you can probably fudge it and hide those gaps a little bit, so everything's really good except for right here and somewhat right here. It's not terrible, though. This is a separate piece. These are connected to the blue, it looks like. All right, let's just see what kind of... Oh, this has got to be limited range, right? All right, let's see. I'm so curious how these hips work. Bringing the leg forward. Oh, that's why they have no rain. This was... I can't speak anymore, guys. The reason this is not rounded out more down here is because these big ass pants have to go somewhere. So yeah, they probably couldn't do too much with it. Let's see. Okay, well, he gets his leg up to horizontal with no problem. There's some squeaking for sure, but it didn't feel too bad. You can always throw a little bit of lube in there if you're worried. Get some shock oil um, for RC cars or just some uh, pure silicone oil. 
that'll be fine. Um, just a tiny little bit will do for almost anything. Let's see, bringing the leg back. This gets in the way, because it's, you know, it's there, but it's still, they go back pretty far. Here we go, let's see out to the side. Guys, I'm kind of excited about this. This is such a weird set of pants for an action figure. I mean, I get what they're doing here, the samurai pants, sure, but for an action figure, this is not easy to execute. This is getting in the way for sure. Is it gonna... Okay, <laughs> yeah. All right, so you can't bring his legs out to the side too far. It just pops the body apart, but I think, honestly, I think it was this part that caused the popping. Let's see here. Yeah, the hips didn't actually, or the thighs didn't actually hit the body. It was this piece. So if you wanted to cut this so that it flexed more somehow, you could definitely do that. I'm not necessarily recommending that, but technically they nailed the hips. Like, okay, got a little bit of looseness going on now, going out to the side there after I used it. This one seems to be okay, slightly loose. So yeah, it's not perfect, but I mean, as far as those crazy pants go, they did, a, look at that. I'm, su I'm honestly surprised. They did a really good job with these pants. We've seen them have some struggles in the crotch region before. This guy turned out nice. This is definitely in the way for the more dynamic poses. Ugh. That's on there surprisingly tight for that to pop off, but they worked well enough, definitely well enough. Thigh swivel is in there. It's not bad. It's okay. The knees, let's see how the knees look. These can't be good, right? Oh man, as somebody who spends a lot of time looking at action figure engineering, unique things like this, uh, this is fun stuff for me. Let's see. Okay, it looked like they were gonna get better range than they do. Um, we're at about 90 degrees. Definitely not the look I would do. So what happened is, uh, in order to be pinless, I mean, that's normal for these kind of lines, but they do this type of joint where it's not insert molded. So it's not like Hasbro. Th this is connected somewhere in here. They connected it way too far up, which means the hinge, you can see it, the hinge is way up in there. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. Yeah, it's, it's in there. So the hinge is way up in there. And, and that's fine to make it look good, but you need the hinge to be closer to the knee. So you don't get that giant, giant opening right there. If the hinge was closer to the knee, this piece would be moved forward and he'd actually have better range and better aesthetic, I would argue. But it's not bad, 90 degrees, and it's kind of goofy looking, but uh, I think we all expected that. And then for the ankles, you get rotation for the whole thing, and the foot goes pretty far back going forward. You're not getting it forward at all. This is hard, and they've given him no room. So that sucks, big time. Toe hinge is useless. I mean, you can bring the foot back like that and use the toe hinge, which in that case, it's an okay toe hinge. It's not a good one. They still have that gap down there that they don't need. But having this not come up more for the foot is gonna, I'm guessing it's gonna cause problems with posing. Uh, I won't know until I do the posing, so I'll add that in with a little note. But uh, the pants are not perfect, let's say that. They are better than I thought they would be, but uh, certainly not perfect. I don't know that you can do a whole lot better with pants like this without making it cost a whole lot more. So I'm okay with it. I don't love it, of course, but I'm okay with it. And so articulation for this guy, I'm gonna go um, eight out of 10, given the character design, given what Storm normally does, he works pretty well and there were some surprisingly good parts. You can see right now I have his inner skeleton shifted over. This is sticking out a lot farther than this. It's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes with these figures when they have that skeleton. Maybe it's the other way, I don't know. You kind of have to figure out where the parts are inside and get that outer part to, I don't know, I'll mess with it later but that happens sometimes and sometimes it's just the neck. There we go, it was the neck holding the, this is a completely floating piece, so sometimes you get things holding things up. Anyway, uh, yeah, he surprised me for Storm. Uh, really, really decent articulation for what it is, certainly acceptable for the style of the character. So yeah, um, good, good range. I would go definitely eight out of 10 for the articulation. And now it's time for the final verdict on this guy with the crazy hair, crazy pants, and crazy accessories. I have no attachment to this character at all. It's a good character design, I think, and it came, turned out to be a really solid release from Storm. It's actually one of my favorites as of right now, given the accessories and posability and whatnot, and the dynamic uh, look of him. I'm gonna go overall nine out of 10 for this release. It's not perfect, certainly not perfect, but I think it's pretty darn close to as good as you're gonna get for something like this, and at a very reasonable price point, given the size of the figure, given the range, given the paint, the accessories for sure. There's a lot to like about this release. 
I might have to check out more Samurai Showdown stuff. Let me know if you guys want me to do that. But again, it is available in the link in the description below. If you want one, go check it out. And uh, that's it for me. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos just about every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.